Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. Okay, so now let us come to art in Rizlema. So this is art in Rizlema. So it says a Northerian. A is an ideal in A. M is finite A module, and N is a submodule of M. A submodule, and we take this filtration on M, which is the uh, given by the powers of A. So that is A power N M. This we know this is A adic on M and we take the induced filtration that is you take this A power N M and intersect with N. So I consider this filtration on the sub module and I want to prove that this is A adic. So then the filtration A n m intersection n n in n is a filtration of on n on the sub module. So proof. So. Uh, what a filtration to prove some filtration is a adic. Uh, the lemma says that we have to check that the module, the graded module is finite over the the corresponding graded ring. So, what is the corresponding uh, graded ring is precisely a prime is our ring direct sum a power n m prime was this a power n m and n prime is direct sum a power n m intersected with n and we know that because this filtration a power n m is adic on m this m prime is a finite a prime module since a prime a power n m this filtration is a adic on m and by lemma so by lemma And note that this um, this ring A prime uh, ideal uh, A is in the Noetherian ring A, so ideal A is finitely generated. So let's say it is generated by A1 to AR, and therefore we have a map from the polynomial ring A x1 to xR. to a a prime namely if i have to give a uh, map on a polynomial ring in so many variables with base ring a then i just have to give 
values on the gen uh, values on the indeterminate. So, let x have map to a i. This is also a algebra, this is also a algebra and this map is clearly surjective because a prime a prime as a uh, algebra or a generated by the first component it is a standard graded a algebra see this is a direct sum a and so on so it is generated by the the first uh, degree of one elements so anyway this map is a algebra homomorphism which is surjective therefore by Hilbert basis theorem because this is no ethereum the homomorphic image of a no ethereum ring is no ethereum. So, by Hilbert basis theorem a x 1 to x n is no ethereum uh, x r is no ethereum. and hence a prime is no ethereum. So, a prime is a no ethereum ring and m prime is a finite module over a prime therefore, m prime is finitely generated. So, m prime is a finite a prime module and um, this n prime is a sub module of that it is a finite module or a no ethereum ring. So, m prime is no ethereum therefore, n prime is finite a prime module and that means by lemma the filtration a and m induce filtration on n is a adic ok now oh, let me deduce some corollaries from here so corollary 1 that is usually called Kroon's intersection theorem. Okay, so, A is no ethereum, A is an ideal in A and m is a finite a module and n is the intersection of all a and m all the uh, terms in this uh, filtration aadic filtration a power n m then a times n is equal to n proof look at n I want to prove a, uh, start with n obviously if I take a power n m intersection with n because n is intersection of all of them this is same this is a bigger set than n so when you intersect you get the same thing but for large n this filtration is aadic means this means it is a times a power n minus 1 m intersection n for large n but again this is n so this is same as a times n that is what we wanted to prove is equal to n ok corollary 2 actually this is called cool's intersection theorem this is also some people call it cool's intersection theorem. So, uh, 
assumptions as in corollary 1. So, and also I will assume that this ideal A is contained in the Jacobson radical of A. This is standard notation for the Jacobson radical of A. Then intersection A power n m this is 0. This is immediate from corollary 1 because we know A times n equal to n. We know n is uh, some module of a finite module over a Noetherian ring. So, it is Noetherian and Nakama lemma with corollary 1 will tell then n is 0 that is precisely this is 0. So, let me just uh, write. So, proof by corollary 1 a times n equal to n and n is finitely generated a contains Jacobson radical so on. So, therefore, n is 0 by an Akaima lemma. Okay. So, next corollary this is a special case of corollary 2 namely suppose you have an ideal A contained in M A the Jacobson radical and of course, we are assuming A is Noetherian. Then intersection A power n this is 0. See these corollaries are very important when one studies you see if each filtration will give the the topology on on the ring A or metric even and then we want to on to study this metric space. So, one completes the metric and then you uh, on the metric uh, completion there is a ring structure and then one study this complete local ring. This is a complete ring, complete local ring and the, the properties of this ring associated with the properties of A. It is an interesting study which, uh, which will also give some analytic considerations. Okay. So, now let us get back to our um, uh, lemma which we wanted to prove. So, the lemma we wanted to prove was uh, we have an exact thing. So, proof of the lemma I am writing. So, we had given an exact sequence of uh, short exact sequence of A modules. A is local now and M is the maximal ideal and Q is M primary ideal. So, such exact sequence and we have given the middle one is uh, non zero so first is also we can we may assume the m prime is non zero otherwise nothing to prove if m prime is zero then this will be isomorphic and then they are the same polynomial so the degree will definitely drop so we can assume m prime is also non zero now when you tensor the sequence with a power q n plus 1 then we get tensor product is not a left exact. So, we will only get from the right side. So, we will get an exact sequence like this m prime divided by q n plus 1 m prime 2 m q n plus 1 m 2 m double prime to q n plus 1 m double prime to 0 this is exact. But to make it exact I will intersect I will go further modulo the so the 
So, to make it exact, I will have to intersect this with 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 M prime. Yes, so we will get an exact equation like this: zero M prime intersection with M prime intersection Q n plus one M to M Q n plus one M to M double prime Q n plus one m double prime to zero um when you compare the lengths now we come i think we came to this uh, this um, equation also last time uh, we put this is equal to we put m prime n to be equal to m prime intersected with q power nm so from here we will get equation like this pq so again alternating so pq m at n equal to pq m double prime plus fn where fn i will put fn is length of m prime by m prime n plus 1 and that also has a finite length because you see the support of this consists of only maximal ideal therefore it will be finite length and so on so if i put this then q from here we will get equation like this uh, q equal to p q m prime plus p q m double prime minus p q m this is what we are interested in finding the degree of this and uh, this is equal to p q P Q M prime minus F, and so we need to prove now that so the claim is P Q M M prime and F have the same. A degree and same leading coefficients because if you prove they have the same degree and same leading coefficient the the de, uh, degree will get cancelled and then the degree will drop so once you prove the claim the assertion will follow so enough to prove the claim okay so uh, we have this uh, so just write down the definition so that means we want to prove that pq m prime at n this is the length of m prime divided by q power n plus 1 m prime and fn is this length length of m prime divided by m prime n plus 1 so now this is where i have to use artin lemma artin ries lemma says by artin ries this q times m prime n will be equal to m prime n plus 1 for large this is precisely the so remember 
oh did i yes where i put m prime m prime of n m prime suffix n remember where did we put that was uh, here m prime n is this the induced filtration induced qadic filtration and m prime so because of what in this this is amadic so that mean this and therefore so this is any this is true for all n bigger equal to some stage n0 so therefore uh, if i take q power n times m prime suffix m this is same as m prime m plus n just keep applying this so you get so because of this q power m q power n times m prime this contains q power n m prime m which is equal to m prime m plus n which contains q prime m plus n times m prime this is for all n so the length when i go mod this and compare the lengths we will get length of m prime by q prime q power n m prime this will be less equal to length of q prime length of m prime mod this this is less equal to length of m prime by q power m plus n m prime actually that m this m is this m is n not this is n not this is n not this is n not and this is n not so this is n not this is n not so therefore this is nothing but this one is pq m prime evaluated at n this is less equal to p this is no this is not p this is f f n plus n not minus 1 and this one is pq m prime evaluated at n plus n not minus 1 so this is a polynomial in n this is a polynomial n not is fixed this is a polynomial in the translated polynomial so therefore uh, this is caught in between that so that proves the claim so this proves the claim and hence uh, the lemma okay the next one we want to compare the degree so the, the next one is so the next lemma is when we have an exact sequence short exact sequence like this and uh, q is our q is m primary and remember our assumption that am is local and all these are finite modules and dm we have put dm this is the degree of this polynomial pq m it's a polynomial with rational coefficient and the degree we are calling it dm uh, so what we want to prove is if you have an short exact expression this degree is the maximum of 
degrees of the degrees which will come from m prime and which will come from m double prime so proof remember in the earlier lemma we have proved that if i take the degree of the alternating sums of the uh, polynomial so that is degree of pqm m prime plus pq m double prime minus pq m this degree is strictly smaller than degree of pqm this is what we proved in earlier lemma by earlier lemma so from this this assertion is clear because the degree will be the maximum of one of them so this will not get cancelled question see the degree if the degree is not maximum so this this leading term is getting cancelled from from this one so either one or both will contribute in either case is a, a maximum okay so the next one the next one is the next lemma says that this degree is we have seen that the degree of pqm this is bounded by minimal number of generators for q but um so this lemma says that this degree is independent of q that means if i take a different m primary ideal and do the same form the uh, numerical function and take it, its polynomial function corresponding to that then the degree will not change so the degree is invariant and this degree we will uh, this degree we will connect it to the cruel dimension that is what precisely what will be called a dimension theorem okay so to check that to check that this degree is independent of q enough to prove that this degree is same as degree of the max degree corresponding to polynomial corresponding to the maximal id so it doesn't depend on the ideal q okay so it's enough to show this but q is m primary take this is m primary and m is maximal ideal in a notion ring so that will imply that some power of the maximal ideal is contained in q so therefore when i raise the powers m power r n is contained in q power n is contained in m power n for all n now when i take the lengths so length of m by m power r n m this length and length of m by q n m and the length of m by m m m these lengths they are because these are the smaller the ideal bigger the length mod so we have these inequalities so that will mean that the polynomials corresponding to this for large n the polynomials are p p m m this is evaluated at r n this is bigger equal to p q m evaluated at n and this is p m m evaluated at n this is true for all n not n n minus 1 but this is also minus 1 all these are minus 1 sorry this is minus 1 this is minus 1 
this is minus 1 because our definition of p q m evaluated at n is m by m power uh, q power n minus 1 m. So, this now oh, see this and this is the same polynomial. So, that will uh, that implies the degrees are equal see this. So, from here it follows that the degree of the middle one p q m is same as degree of p m. So, that proves the demo. Okay, so, the next time I will do dimension theorem that will in particular show that uh, uh, how does one compute the crude dimension of a noise in the local ring and it is finite.